What to do if we download a texture that is repeatable with a visible seam? Most people will open Photoshop and change it there, but that is a waste of time. We can fix that with a few clicks in Corona Render. Let's see how to do it. In that scene, we have wood boards with obviously repeatable texture in the material. On the wall, we can see another seam. Let's start with the stone wall. Draw a region to focus on that area only instead of rendering the whole image. Click M to open the material editor. Here is the material of the wall and it contains just one texture for the diffuse. Right click to fix the repetition. Then maps, Corona, Corona Randomizer. If you are using an older version of Corona, the node was named UVW Randomizer. Connect our texture with the input and the output to the base color. Now, we just need to change the V and Z maximum rotation to 360 degrees and enable randomize each tile. Properties are almost the same in older versions as we can see. Great! The repetition is barely visible with just a few clicks. To go even further and remove any left signs of repetition, let's change the maximum and the minimum scale as well. There is no trace of repetition anymore. But how does it work? I can explain. In 3D computer graphics, UV tiling refers to the process of applying a texture or image onto a 3D model surface by mapping the texture coordinates in a repetitive or tiled manner. With the randomizer node, we can manipulate this, change the position of each of these tiles, rotate them or scale them. As we did here. Let's now take a look at the old boards. We can use the same randomization node, but this time we will change another parameter. With the stone wall, we had a single element with a texture on it. Since the boards right here are attached elements, the mesh element option should be checked to randomize different elements. Let's change the maximum position on U for horizontal and V for vertical position of the texture on each element. Also, if you want, you can change the maximum and minimum scale of each board as we did with the wall. Ivan, you can also randomize the color of the boards. Such imperfections usually tend to make the image more believable. Okay, I was thinking about finishing the tutorial, but if you say so, let's add some more variations. Add another Corona node with the right click, Corona Multimap. Since we are using just one texture, Change the item count to 1 and connect it. And again, enable the mesh element option to randomize the color of each element. The gamma will change the gamma on each of the boards. Obviously 50 is too much, so we can reduce it to something like 2 or 3. The saturation and the hue parameter works in the same way so you can control them depending on your personal taste. Is that what you wanted, Lumixi? Yes, this is a very good result. For a human. At the end, if you have other textures like bump or glossiness, you can add more outputs and connect the other textures to control them simultaneously. If you are using an older version of Corona, you need to copy the randomizer for each texture. Ok guys, that was all for this video. Now we know how easily we can randomize repeatable textures with a visible seam. If you want to see more Corona content, check out my other videos and stay tuned for my next one.